So that's what you call me. Just because you don't think of anybody but yourself. Selfish. Oh, selfish. Because everything hasn't happened as how you wanted it. Turn on me. Blame me. You don't really think of me. Don't for a moment try to see things from my point of view. When you were children, I was so proud of you all. I was so confident that you would become such wonderful creatures. I used to see myself at the age I am now, surrounded by you and all your own children, so happy with you all, so proud of you all. This house happier and gayer than it even was in the best of the old days. But now my life has gone by and what has happened? You are a resentful, soured school mistress. Middle age before your time. Hazel, the loveliest child that ever was. Married to a vulgar little bully. Who's terrified of him. Okay, off to lead a life of your own, yet so bitter and secretive about it. As if you'd failed. Carol, the loveliest and kindest of you all. Dead before she's twenty. Robin, I'm not blaming you now, dear, but I must speak the truth for once. Married to a wife you cannot love. No purpose, no position, no comfort. Hmm. And Alan, the eldest. The boy his father adored, who thought he might become anything. And what is he now? A miserable little clerk. No prospects, no ambitions, no self-respect. Hmm. Yes, a miserable little clerk that nobody would look twice at. What do you think I'm at? Aren't I supposed to have some kind of patience to reach the end of, Mother? You think I'm crazy about the warehouse? You think I'm in love with Continental Shoemakers? You think I want to spend the next 55 years down there with the Cellotex interior with the fluorescent tubes? I'd rather somebody picked up a crowbar and battered my brains out than go back mornings. But I go for $65 a month. I give up everything I've ever dreamed of doing and being ever. And you say self. Self is all I think about. Why listen mother, if self was all I thought about, I'd be where he is, gone. I'm going to the movies. I'm going to opium dens. Yes, mother, opium dens. I joined the Hogan gang. I'm a hired assassin. I carry a Tommy gun and a violin case. I run a string of cat houses in the valley. They call me Killer. Killer Wingfield. I'm leading a double life. Oh, honest warehouse worker by day, but by night. A dynamic czar of the underworld, mother. On occasion, they even call me El Diablo. Oh, I could tell you some things to give you sleepless nights. My enemies plan to dynamite this place. Someday they're gonna blow us all sky high, and I'll be glad, oh, very happy, and so will you. You'll go up, up, in your broomstick, all the way over Blue Mountain, with your 17 gentlemen collars, you ugly, babbling old witch. Hello, so I have spent a lot of time with both the plays, and I have spent a lot of time trying out different characters, but my preference of the play and the character that I have that I would prefer to be casted in has come down to what we, what we've been talking about over the last few um, 
months well, of last semester and that comes down to giving myself like a challenge and um, to like progress as an actor because like we've said um, it's clear that I can that I'm, I'm comfortable or more comfortable in the comedy aspect of things so Mrs Conway from Time in the Conways and the monologue that I chose to perform would be my preferred choice and that is solely to challenge myself as I feel like there are probably other parts that I could have chosen and maybe would like to have chosen but they would have been maybe not too easy but they wouldn't have challenged me in the way that she's going to and I think both the plays definitely have a lot to offer for the whole class but for me personally this is something that I was very particular about and that is also the reason why I chose to do a speech from her rather than um, from another play and I hope you enjoy my audition or enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you.